It's a question that people have been trying to answer for decades. Is it possible to predict the next big earthquake? Some Bay Area scientists say they may have found a way. New at 6, NBC Bay Area's Robert Honda has the details from Portola Valley. We're here in Portola Valley, which is only about 1,000 feet or so away from the San Andreas Fault. Now, that might make some people nervous, but for researchers at QuakeFinder, it's just another opportunity to learn more about possible earthquake prediction. If two of the scientists behind the research group QuakeFinder took me to one of the 125 magnetometers running 24-7 throughout California. The systems capture, filter, and record magnetic energy just before any quake with a magnitude of 4.5 or higher, searching for a predictable pattern. Tom Blyer got the idea from magnetic signals detected by Stanford just prior to the 1989 Loma Prieta quake. Over a 20-year period, with encouragement and funding from Stellar Solutions in Palo Alto, Blyer and Dan Schneider expanded the project, trying to figure out if those magnetic signals could predict quakes. We didn't have a statistical base, so we made the decision, let's put out all of the magnetometers that we can 20 miles apart along the major faults in, in California, San Andreas being one of them and see whether or not this thing happens repeatedly. In a report, Schneider and a team at Google Research focused on magnetic activity one to three days before 19 medium to large earthquakes. And they say they found signals in the days just before the quakes, a big breakthrough as far as they're concerned. And so this published, this study, points in the direction that there is something to be looking for in the magnetic field. And w the major obstacle is the will to fund the research. QuakeFinder is quick to point out that while it may be a big step, it's still just a single step in earthquake forecasting. In fact, some scientists at USGS have dismissed some of the findings, saying the results aren't that useful. Still, QuakeFinder is encouraged and says finding a way to predict earthquakes short term, even as a probability, is worth the effort. Instead of once every 30 years, it may be once this particular week with a confidence level of X. Again, QuakeFinder says it could take years to get that confidence up to a high level, and that will require more findings and funding. In Portola Valley, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News.